Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews. Today we're going to take a look back yet again at one of my favorite consoles, the Sega Saturn. As the Sega Saturn failed in North America, it thrived in Japan with close to 1,000 games available. I had to import most of my games to make the Saturn worth it as many of the North American games never came out. Here are games that I took a chance on that weren't your average game and only was released in Japan that are in my collection. Radiant Silvergun was released in 1998 and developed by Treasure. This game is one of the most popular shooters for the Sega Saturn with 3D models that push the average shooter. You also had a sword that would erase any bullets that were headed your way to help you defend against the chaos on screen. The game did so well it received a spiritual sequel on the Dreamcast called Ikaragua. Thunder Force 5 was released in 1997 and developed by Technosoft. This side-scrolling shooter is its fifth in a series and also employed 3D models that play the same like the rest of the series. The effects mixed in with sprites included massive boss fights, incredible music, and fast-paced action prove the move to 3D was successful. Bulk Slash was released in 1997 by Hudson Soft. This 3D shooter is a third person mecha simulation game. Fighting enemy invaders, this game is unique for its transformation from a plane to a robot mech on the ground. Similar to Macross, this game garnered positive reception as one of the first games to fully realize a 3D world on a larger scale, running smoothly on the Saturn. Ninja Jaja Maru Kun was released in 1997 by Jaleco. Based on an old bit era, this version was taken into a 3D world. It uses simple graphics to stay cute and goofy. The game moves fast and is easy to pick up and play. The cutscenes are incredibly old and embarrassing to watch in today's era. <laughs> Bomberman Fight was released in 1997 by Hudson Soft. 
This game is a maze of the original 2D version with 3D graphics instead. You play with four characters in each match with one last standing deemed a winner. Each character had a life bar instead of one hit kills and the immense chaos on screen would punish you if you weren't paying any attention at all. Night Striker was released in 1996 by Taito. Playing the game is reminiscent of Space Harrier on the Sega Master System, but much faster. The game uses scaling in 21 stages that allows the player where to go when they advance to after each stage. Although much better than the Sega CD version of the game, it pales in comparison to the arcade. G-Vector was released in 1997 by Soft Office as a 3D shooter. The game is on the hard side and unfortunately does not pick up from there where you left off once you die. On the bright side, the graphics are great and it's very fast paced. <laughs> Jung Rhythm was released in 1997 by Ultron. This game is a music game like Papa the Rapper for the PlayStation. Jung Rhythm is very unforgiving as you don't meet the required score at the end of the stage, you can't move on. There are times that you score quite well to have a judge give you a lower point in comparison to the other judges that make you short by even 5 points can make you lose. <laughs> That's it for my collection of Japanese exclusives that I took on for the Sega Saturn. And that's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.